Hello everyone and welcome to this week's episode of Behind the Scenes of Alfred Moogle. My name is Alfred Moogle. Welcome to this channel. I talk about life, I talk about business, I talk about the conversations I have with my friends, the books that I read, everything really. And today I want to talk to you about something that's been very, very close to me, something I've kept close to me, and it is my four pillars of life. The four big buckets in my life that I kind of group all my activities, all my goals, and my focus into. And I'll tell you about why they're important, but also importantly how they can impact you and provide more clarity for you in your own life, in your own context. No words can be said. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> My name is Alfred Mugo, and this is my life. So my four pillars of life, and they have changed over time. I want you to understand that. They've changed over time, they've changed with the context of my life, and they will change with the context of your life. And this is important because really the context of your life is what drives these pillars in a lot of ways. So realistically, these are my four pillars, and what I want for you is to reflect on what your pillars are, to form your own mission, to form your own compass, because really in life we need direction. So long as we go in the right direction, we will always end up at the right destination. So the first pillar I'll be talking about today is one of my favorite pillars, it is health. The pillar of health. And it's important because it's not just physical health, it is your mental health as well, your mental health as well. And it's something that we all know is important, but it's so easy to kind of throw by the wayside. And this is something I've talked about before. In particular, 2019 was a very difficult year for me. My personal life went through a lot of change and there was a lot of pain and there was a lot of growth. So after my family and friends kind of pushed me to seek help, I realized that I was depressed. I wasn't happy and my mental health really wasn't where I wanted it to be. Because of this, I could not be my whole self to the people in my life and I could not meet the demands of my life. I realized that I needed to heal. I need to invest time in ensuring that my mental health was on par with my physical health. It is no use to exercise and eat well if you are mentally weak. Strength of the mind correlates to strength in all areas of life. It will enable you to bring your whole self every single day and nothing less. The second pillar and one of my favorite pillars I'll be talking about today is wealth. And we all kind of have a different perspective of what wealth is. But I know for a single fact that wealth does not equal one thing. It does not just equal being rich or being famous or having influence or being powerful. No, no, no. Wealth means living and having a full life. So, we all have our own definitions, but to me, wealth means having access. Access to resources that translate to impact, and control over my time, which means freedom. I have big goals in my life, and to achieve them, I'm not naive to recognize I need the tool of money and resources. In order to one day have scholarships for children high up in the Taita Hills of Kenya, I need resources and a network to do so. In order to give my parents the life they deserve, I need the access to do so. In order to make an impact and to share my message of empathy and understanding, I need to have a platform and I need to have the influence to do so. Wealth will help me, and importantly, you be the change that you want to see in the world. So ask yourself what wealth means to you, and that does not mean your goals have to be huge. They just have to be yours. The important thing is that your actions map to your level of ambition. Simple. So the third pillar I'll be talking about today is actually one of my favorites, and that is relationships. And it's one of my favorites because it is so, so personal. It's so personal. Relationships form such a fundamental part of your well-being and part of your everyday function. And I had a conversation the other day with someone I really care about, and we talked about the relationships in her life, and the long tail of those relationships, and the impact those relationships have had throughout her life, and keeping her happiness, and keeping her well-being afloat, especially during times of COVID. 
And so I don't want you guys to underestimate the importance of the people we surround ourselves with. You see, the people we surround ourselves with make all the difference. And I really dive into this in my last video, the key to happy relationships. A fundamental element of that video, among many others, was that alignment is absolutely paramount. The people you surround yourself with will impact your mood, your goals, your demeanor, and your attitude. This is a famous quote that has been said many times and in many forms, but essentially you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. And this could not be more true. Seriously guys, I cannot explain to you how critical, critical the relationships and the people I've had surrounding me in my life have been. It actually makes me emotional thinking about it. Relationships tend to blossom that way. So the final pillar I'll be talking about today is perhaps the most elusive. It's the one that so many of us yearn for. Some of us go our whole lives trying to achieve this one pillar. And you guess what it is? <laughs> it's simply happiness. Happiness. It's as simple as that, but it's so hard to achieve, right? But without happiness, all the other pillars will fail. <laughs> yes, happiness. The one thing we all want, the one thing we all yearn. Happiness means being comfortable in your own skin. It means being confident in who you are, and importantly, being self-aware. Once you are self-aware and accept yourself for who you are, you'll begin to see happiness. And I talk a lot about this in one of my favorite videos that you should check out, How to Stay True to Yourself. Happiness is the glue that keeps your house of cards that being your life together. You see, happiness means mastering the art of contradiction. Contradiction. Yes, because in life, there will always be times of pain and discomfort and uncertainty. But on the other end, there will be times of bravado and confidence and joy. Happiness is an umbrella. It is the glue that keeps you strong during change, during the highs, but also during the lows. So ladies and gentlemen, those are my four pillars, health, wealth, relationships, and happiness. Those pillars have been the driving factors of my success in life, the driving factors of my focus every single day. And importantly, they've allowed me to not only help myself, but they've allowed me to help others. They've allowed me to expand my reach and expand my influence, which is exactly what I want for you. Like I said, this is a very, very personal conversation. It's a conversation you have to have with yourself. What are your values, right? What are your priorities? These questions will drive your pillars. They'll drive your buckets. They'll drive your mission in life. So please, please, please share your ideas and your thoughts with those around you. Help yourself build that clarity in your life so you can have these driving factors as a foundation to anything you do as you move forward every single day. Because that's what we want. We want clarity in our lives and that's what I'm trying to do and that's what I'm trying to help you achieve as well. So ladies and gentlemen, as always, thank you so much for watching this video. If it provided some value for you, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe as always. And remember that every single day is a miracle. Take care, everyone.